Our Facebook Live. How are you guys today? You might notice I'm all dressed up. I've got a photo shoot to do after. I feel like I'm so special. Not in my yoga pants today. Good to see all you guys out there. We're going to go ahead and uh, start it here with the show. Just need to get myself ready. Ready, Freddy. And I'm excited. We've got a couple of awesome mompreneurs on the phone today. It's going to be a great show. Very excited. And let's see here. We should have... We should be live. Let me see if we're live now. Hope you guys can see me okay out there. Do my best to... Hey, Chantel, are you there? I am here. Hi, Colleen. How are you? Hi. Good. How are you? I am very well. Good. So I I just went live on Facebook, uh, and I probably need to change the angle a little bit of my... uh, um, of, of my, uh, camera here, but, um, I think we're good enough for now. All right, move that chair out of the way. All right. So I'm going to interview Lori first. So you'll, you get fr- front row seat to listen to the show and then, uh, I'll wrap up with Lori and then I'll bring you in and then, uh, you'll take us to the end of the show. So what I love about having just two guests is we get way more time to dig in. Uh, So I'm super excited about that. Sounds good. Yeah. So I just need to... Here we go. Make sure I've got my live going. And if you want to get on there with with live, you can just log in to uh, Lead Up for Women on Facebook, and then you'll be able to be in there with us. Great. I think I'm watching you right now. Oh, awesome. I think the feed is a little... Here too. Hey, hi, Lori. How are you? Good morning. Good morning. All right, Lori, I'll be bringing you in first, but uh, I usually start off the show and and uh, talk to our listeners. Uh, as you know, you know uh, you've been on podcasts before, so I'll talk to our listeners a little bit about what's going on, and we get caught up with Lead Up, and then uh, then I'll bring you in, and we'll start um, we'll start right away. Uh, so just hang out there. All right. So you, you, you heard everybody? You heard Lori and Chantel? I did. They're both there. All right. Perfect. All right. We will get going here in just a moment. All right. Awesome. Thank you. Welcome to Lead Up for Women. Speak up to lead up with Colleen Biggs. Are you ready to lead without permission and take the steps needed to live your best life? Whether you want to start the business of your dreams or celebrate your present and future accomplishments, you're definitely in the right place. Now, here is your host, Colleen Biggs. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening there, listeners. It's so wonderful that all of you have joined us today. You are listening to Lead Up for Women, Speak Up to Lead Up, and I am your host, Colleen Biggs. So welcome to the show. We're so glad you're here. We have a great show today. We are going to be welcoming Chantelle McGuffin. She's out of Ontario, Canada, and the founder of Moms with a Plan, providing moms with stay-at-home revenue. And then we also have Lori Richens. She's an author, speaker, and an empowerment coach, not to mention an amazing mom of seven beautiful children and eight grandchildren. So make sure you stick around because they will be our main spotlight on our show today. And then for our Facebook listeners and viewers out there, I just wanted to say hi, welcome to the show. And during um, right after the show, I will be posting photos of Lori and Chantel um, and Lori and Chantel at any time that you want to make a comment, you can go ahead right out there on our Facebook page right now that's live, and you can go ahead and type in your contact information and how all of our viewers can get in contact with you. Uh, And you can do that during the show, and if you don't have the opportunity to do that during the show, I will make sure they are uploaded after the show so that it stays out on the cloud forever. 
because that's how things stay on the cloud forever. So anyway, I just wanted to start with getting caught up with Lead Up. And yesterday was such an amazing day. I'm holding a card that says Keep Smiling. And for all of my Facebook viewers out there, this Keep Smiling card is all about a foundation of the Keep Smiling movement. And what I love about it is this is an international nonprofit organization, and they honor each and every one of us. And I was so thankful to be invited yesterday as they did a little fun pop-up party here at Voice America. And what I loved about it was they came in, they take all of our photos holding this Keep Smiling card, and they create these books uh, of empowerment or for black history or for any other subject. And they've even sent these books to Oprah and Ellen. So, Ellen, you know, you're my girl. And if you're watching the show today, uh, catch up one of those books and make this a big, big movement. Because there's nothing better in life than joy and smiling. And we all know that smiles are completely infectious. So, um, what again, uh, this is a movement, and I had the, the pleasure of meeting Ken uh, Rashon and Andrea Adams Miller. And they are some two amazing people. In fact, Andrea Adams Miller, who is the executive uh, ex- the executive director for the Red Carpet Connection Publicity and Sponsorship Agency and runs this ship, uh, along with the founder, Ken, who's uh, the Umbrella Syndicate. You know, I don't know if you know, but he also has a Voice America show, uh, as well as as an author, as a speaker. He's written, I think, nine or ten books, probably more than that. Very accomplished, Ken. And I want to give a shout out to both of them because I loved this movement so much that I asked Andrea, hey, Could you come and be a panelist with us in Nashville, Tennessee on August 19th? And what I would love for us to do is I want to grab about 30 of these Keep Smiling cards. And I want us to take a photo of all the lady attendees that come to the luncheon so we can continue this movement and amp it up. And we can all share it on our social media. So we are huge supporters of this movement. I want all of you to go out and check out this uh, Keep Smiling Foundation and uh, give back by taking a photo of Keep Smiling uh, with this card in your hand. So I love this movement. I love joy. It's great. And then not to mention joy. um, It's been such a fun week. Uh, Lead Up for Women has had the opportunity to travel around the nation, as you know, and our next event that we have coming up is going to be on Tuesday. So for all of you that have not yet joined an RSVP for a free webinar, ladies, gentlemen, you can you can join if you're a gentleman. It's fine. It's free. All you have to do is go out to leadupforwomen.com forward slash events and click on RSVP for the August 13th Teaching Tuesday monthly webinar. And our host, Dr. Lori Monaco, who's also been on this show before, her subject is, Does Size Matter? Doesn't everyone want to join when it says, Does Size Matter? She's going to be hosting an entire hour workshop, and she's going to be talking about the size of your butts, the size of your excuses, the size of your I can'ts. It's going to be really great to tap into what is getting us stuck between our ears and being able to help ourselves move forward. So at Lead Up for Women, we're not just a community of women that support other women through moral support and and motivation and inspiration. We are educational and we teach and our members have the opportunity to teach once a month. We teach at our luncheons. We teach through the stories that are shared here on the radio show. Uh, And thank you, Voice America Empowerment, for allowing us to have this awesome show to empower all of these women and gentlemen that listen to our show. We are climbing in listeners. I'm so excited that we're reaching over seven countries now. It's it's just a really great ride. And I just want to say thank you to everybody out there for believing in me, believing in Lead Up for Women, and believing that women are strong and powerful. And we have a place in uh, the office. We have a place in the community. We have a place at the table and we have a place in corporate America. And, uh, 
Uh, August 19th, we're doing another luncheon. So like I said, Andrea is going to be there as one of our additional uh, special guests. And I would love for all of you to join us. Again, it's leadupforwomen.com forward slash events. And if you haven't already gotten on that newsletter, click on leadupforwomen.com. Grab a newsletter. You can keep up to date with all of the news that we have. In addition, we have a membership. So the membership, like I said, offers you an array of going back and watching all the previous webinars, watching all the previous luncheons. We have full videos out there that our sponsor, Robert Worth Films, uh, has done for us. And we've uploaded those onto the website. We have a book library. And if you've written a book and you're a member of Lead Up for Women, contact us at info at leadupforwomen.com. Or you can contact us at Colleen B at leadupforwomen.com. And I would love to be able to post your book on our book nook. So make yourself a note and reach out to me and uh, we will make that happen. Because here at Lead Up for Women, we want to inspire all of you and provide a platform for your voice because this world has a space for you in it. So don't shrink back and be small. This is about you being big, large in life and doing what it is that you were brought to the earth to do. So the last the last event I wanted to talk about was something new that I haven't talked about before, but I'm going to be doing a lot of promoting over the next few weeks. And that's August 22nd to the 24th. I'm going to be speaking at the Red Rock Hotel in a with a with an event called the Incubator. If you are a startup business or If you are looking to start up a business or you maybe started your business in the last year or two and you are looking for some additional resources, Peter Anthony Wynn is putting on an event called The Incubator. And there are 12 speakers that are going to be on stage. And this is an opportunity for you to sit in the audience and be in front of a whole load of experts that are going to help you navigate on how to grow your business. This is a great opportunity for anyone out there to get tickets at talktothementor.com. Again, that's The Incubator. Talk to the mentor.com August 22nd through the 24th at the Red Rock Hotel in Vegas. Now, for me in Arizona, that's like a four and a half hour drive, so it's really not that bad, but everyone loves Vegas. It's fun to go to Vegas, so come join us there. We would love to see you, and this will give you an opportunity to meet me um, up close and personal and have a long conversation with me and get to know a little bit more about my impact coaching that I also do along with the support that I I offer for Lead Up for Women. So I am now going to jump into our first interview because I just can't wait anymore. I'm excited for these ladies today that have built these massive businesses from the ground up, from their experiences, from what they love, from what they learned. And again, ladies it's and gentlemen out there, it's all about what was their purpose that was on their heart and how could they give back and serve. And so I'd love to welcome Lori Richens to the show. Lori, are you there? Yes, I'm here. I'm so looking forward to hey. our discussion today. Oh, I'm so excited you're here. So, Lori, you are the founder and business owner of Whole Family Mentoring. And I would love for you to tell our listeners a little bit about your story and some pain that you had gone through that really brought you to the point of discovery of where you are today and how that just catapulted your business forward and brought you to the present. Great. Thank you for this opportunity. I actually uh, come from a very broken background, as many people who are listening might have experienced as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, that ended up being a really critical aspect of my life uh, experience as far as eventually becoming a professional mentor. And I need to give a little bit more insight so people understand why this is such a critical topic to me. So my mother was actually married very, very young. She was a young teenager when she got married, and I was her fourth child by the time she was 22. I um, discovered as a young girl that the person whose name was on my birth certificate wasn't actually my father. So I, my mother had been married three times, and I ended up searching for over 20 years as an adult trying to find my birth father. He didn't know who... Um, that he had a daughter out there, and I didn't have a name. And two and a half years ago, uh, actually, I found him through Ancestry DNA. It's one of those 
stories that you see on commercials about how a mother <laughs> and uh, yeah, how a daughter and and father end yeah. up connecting and and uh, Troy Dunn said uh, this beautiful statement. He said that you can't have peace until you have all of your pieces. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And so my need to find my father was very innate, and this incredible line of miracles unfolded for me to finally connect with him. But because after discovering the varying relationships from my mother and my father, I discovered that I was one of 19 children. So wow. that includes... Yes, that's, that's a lot of children. It? <laughs> it is. And so that ended up being with step-siblings and half-siblings and mm-hmm. just a lot of different mixing and matching. And, and so I experienced a lot of trauma in my growing up years. And I myself was married very young. I was 18 and my husband was 22. And uh, when I was about 40 years old, I ended up experiencing what you see uh, on television shows and movies where people have complete blockage of memories of trauma that they had when they were young. And um, suddenly I'm 40 years old and I am literally having my brain release Mm. uh, memories of experiences that I had and I had to relive them all over again. I literally relived it as if it was happening in the present. And that was extremely traumatic to my body, and I was I was having to cope with a lot, having just had my seventh child and, mm-hmm. and varying other challenges, and so I set a date to take my life. There are moments in our lives when you, you try so hard to stay a step ahead of the pain, mm-hmm. and you just cannot run fast enough. And... I finally told myself that I can breathe this long. I can breathe until this specific date, and then I'm finally going to have relief. Mm. And uh, fortunately, that date came and, and went, and I kept breathing, and it would have been tragic, of course. Seven children would have lost a mother, and my husband would have lost a wife, and they had no idea I was suffering to that degree. Well, just to fast forward, once I learned some really solid coping mechanisms, and my, my marriage was solid, and, and uh, I realized I had some really good knowledge, some really mm-hmm. good skills that I wanted to pass on to others, so I developed a business called Whole Family Mentoring, where I work to help families feel whole again. I help individuals to heal and feel whole again, so they're not running from their past, they're facing it, and then they're finding empowerment in their present. I love that. Wow, that is so much that you shared with us. And thank you so much, Lori, first of all, for opening up and being vulnerable with our listeners and our viewers. I know that that is something that has probably taken you some time to be able to accomplish um, through the trauma. Well, I think, and Colleen, perhaps you agree, there are so many women out there uh, who have been traumatized as children And then they turn into mothers and they turn into wives and they're trying to function Mm -hmm. and cope with the pain of their past. And so um, a lot of marriages are failing because of that. Mm -hmm. They just don't have the skills or the mechanism to be able to not only heal from their past, but also to create a healthy family in their present. And I managed to accomplish that. I've been married almost 35 years. And so I feel really fortunate to have gone through the the worst of the trials and to get onto this other side that's so beautiful. And so I, I love giving other people the, the tools and skills that they need in order to create a happy home as well. That's so great, Lori. Could you give a tip to our listeners? Uh, you just talked about how you work with families uh, and help mm-hmm. them with the whole family, so family mentoring. Could you give a tip to our listeners of one thing that was imperative for you going through the trauma that you went through for you to be able to get to the other side? What, what is one thing that you would recommend to a listener that may be going through that trauma at the moment. Yes, thank you for that. So there is something that I think is really critical for me, at least in my progress, is you have to be able to recognize the dysfunction of your past in order to transform it in your present. And so many people come from dysfunction or fractured environments, and it's all they know, and they don't recognize the damage that it's done to you personally, and then also the patterns that you're perpetuating down to the next generation. Mm -hmm. 
And so the first step for me was to be able to actually identify what had caused the harm in the first place. Mm -hmm. And once I was able to locate that and then learn the life lessons from it, that gave me great ammunition to help empower my children not to do the same. Yeah. Wow. That's amazing. Did you hear that, listeners? Recognize the dysfunction of the past to be able to transform your future. Really, that's what it comes down to, you know, we all hold the pen to be able to write our own story and we need to recognize, deal with, um, uncover, work through traumas that we've had in our past instead of pushing things down and burying them. Because just as Lori explained, (laughs) those will come back. Uh, They don't stay uh, there forever. Uh, And so, Lori, that's just an amazing story. And um, I just want to thank you so much for sharing that with our listeners. And uh, before we go to break, uh, I wanted you just to be able to um, share with our listeners the name of the book uh, that you just wrote and when it's going to be released. Perfect. Yes. The name of my book is 10 Strategies to to Strengthen Your Family While Building Your Business. And uh, it's really interesting. Um, actually, I've finished seven chapters out of the ten. That's wonderful. And um, it's unfolding in a very uh, spiritual way. And for those people who are listening who are of faith, it's one of those books that I realized was um, something that uh, needed to be uh, presented in a, mm-hmm. in, a, um, in a manner that I hadn't planned on. I actually had three other books I was planning on writing. And I woke up one morning and I had this very clear impression that I needed to write this specific book because so many people in the business world mm-hmm. are, I'm discovering as I travel around and, and associate with others that um, the vast majority have had either a personal divorce that they've experienced mm-hmm. or they come from broken families. Yeah. So since I've been blessed to be a stay-at-home mom for most of my, um, for all of my children's life, I have one child still at home, but... For the most part, I was able to do that. Now that I'm in the business world, I want to give people who are in the business world strategies, very effective strategies that can help stabilize and strengthen their family so that they don't lose what matters most in life as they're trying to build a business and to have the financial success that they're striving for. Wow, Lori, that's so great. Yeah, go um, ahead. We don't have a specific release date. Sorry about that, but um, as soon as I get my book finish, then we'll, of course, uh, get right. on to, to We'll getting get the information out there. All right, listeners, we're going to run to break and stay with us because Lori Richens is still on the phone. We're still going to be speaking to her when we come back from break, and then we're going to be wel- welcoming Chantel McGuffin. So stay with us. Talk to you in a minute. All right, perfect. All clear. Back All in a couple. All right. Thank you. All right. That's so great, Lori. You're doing so awesome today. Say hi to all of our Facebook fans that are out there. Oh, I'm so pleased to be with you today. <laughs> it was such a pleasure to meet you down in Arizona. And yeah. uh, you were so gracious to remember when I was having trouble with my phone, keeping it charged, yeah. and you stepped right in trying to help me. You're yeah. just a really serving person. <laughs> <laughs> You're so sweet to remember that. So, yeah, Lori and I met down in Scottsdale at a uh, Mastermind Leadership group that we went to, and Lori works with, uh, I'll give a shout-out to David Fagan. You might remember I had Isabel Don- um, Donatio on my show as a guest co-host a couple of months ago, and uh, the two of them just got married July 30th, and um, I, uh, I'm so excited. I was looking at their photos yesterday, and uh, I was so sad that I wasn't able to make it because I had to go to Louisville, Kentucky uh, that week. I think that was last week or the week before, uh, and I, I was just so sad that I missed out on it. But I saw your photos, and it looked like a gorgeous, a gorgeous uh, day. It was sure. beautiful, yes. I, I actually took two of my children and my husband and and the four of us all drove down there, and we were able to attend that. It was wonderful. That's awesome. I want to say hi really quick to our listeners, Rochelle, Ashlyn, Renee, Gaby, Pamela. It's just to name a few. Thank you guys so much for joining us today. And we will have this Facebook Live uh, video up there forever, like I said. And we will make sure all the contact information is out there for our guests. And uh, we post some photos of them so you can see how absolutely beautiful they are. And, um, And 
then you can always uh, head on over to voiceamerica.com, click on the Empowerment Channel, and find Lead Up for Women, Speak Up to Lead Up, and then you will always be able to see their photos, their guest bios. You can see any of our old podcasts all the way back to March when we started this show. Um, I love being able to have that platform to celebrate women and celebrate their stories and have all of that out there for everybody. So we will be coming back live in a few minutes on the Voice America Empowerment Channel. So just hang in there with us, Facebook friends. All right, send in the feed. Here we all go. All right, thanks. And don't forget to keep smiling. Isn't this an awesome card? I love this. What a great You movement. are listening to Lead Up for Women. Speak up to lead up. To reach the show today, please call 1-888-346-9141. That's 1-888-346-9141. You may also send an email to info at leadupforwomen.com. Now, back to this week's show. Hey there, listeners. Welcome back to the show. Oh, my gosh. We've got such an amazing show going on today. I am your host, Colleen Biggs, and I am the co-founder of Lead Up for Women, and you are listening to Speak Up to Lead Up. And I've been speaking with Lori Richens. She's an empowerment coach and business owner of Whole Family Mentoring, and she is just lovely. Hi, Lori. Hi, Colleen. So she was talking about her book, Fortified. 10 Strategies to Strengthen Your Family While Building Your Business. She's on Chapter 7. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Of writing it? Yep, 7 of 10. Yeah. yeah. And uh, so give me an idea of to our listeners. As a mompreneur, what are the ages of your children? You've got seven, right? Right. So 33 down to 17. That's awesome. Uh, many of our listeners might remember I also have seven children. Mine is a blended family. And uh, I, I uh, have, well, I think all of my daughters and daughter-in-laws in our family are mompreneurs. Every single one of them uh, have a business and work from home. So I'm glad that we encourage that in our home. Talk to me a little bit about... Lori, how the whole family mentoring has changed your life and how you've been able to utilize the tool of your pain to help other families. First of all, whole family mentoring, uh, I specifically chose that name because um, I actually don't just mentor myself. Sometimes I'm actually, the, the space that I work out of is this beautiful office space that's actually in the same building and the same space where my husband, who owns a CPA firm, has his oh, business. Okay. So he's directly across the hall from me. And and sometimes, uh, like if I'm working on a, a couple whose marriage is struggling, mm -hmm. sometimes I will just go across the hall and I'll knock on my husband's door and I'll say, Honey, will you come in and can I ask you to support this client? And so it's it's always very organic, and I'll say, honey, can you talk about what it was like when we were having marital issues, and this is what I was doing as your wife and how that impacted you. And so I use my husband sometimes to give the male perspective and mm -hmm. to help the clients to see from, um, from his eyes what it was like, the pain he experienced yeah. as well. I've actually used my sons to help in the mentoring process, and and um, I do uh, Facebook Live videos where I interview my children, or my uh, and and they come from their perspective what it was like to be mentored by me as their mother and how we've overcome certain mm -hmm. challenges together. So the whole family mentoring is not not just me as a mentor, but sometimes my family members assist. But also I have the opportunity to work with whole families, and I've loved. I've worked with three generations before. Wow. And, and you get to see some of that, you know, the, the generational behavior, the generational mm -hmm. thinking, the processing mm -hmm. and conduct and patterns that get passed down that you need to intercept. Yeah. And so whole family mentoring means a lot to me because my goal is to help families feel whole again, but I also have excellent resources in my own family to help people to heal. That is wonderful. What an amazing business to have where you can bring in your husband and your children to be able to work with you. And in a 
in a setting that you're healing other others and they're learning from I think as mothers, sometimes we forget, you know, we are the true example to our children and we're mentors, we're coaches every day for children in our lives and those around us. That's so special. We absolutely are. And mm-hmm. Colleen, it's, it's interesting. Um, you talked about your daughters and your daughters-in-law. It's, it's been fascinating. My son, who's 21, I believe, right now, mm-hmm. I was telling him, I said, um, now that I'm entering the business world and I'm speaking on stages and I'm interacting more with professionals uh, that I, I didn't have association with before and I'm learning new technical things. And I told my son, I said, I feel like I'm behind. You know, I've been blessed to be at home for so many years yeah. and and I actually was an energy worker out of my home for, for quite a few years as well. Um, I said, I feel like I'm behind and my son said something really profound and this is going to be helpful for any mothers out there who might feel as I did. I said, I feel like I'm behind and he said, because you're a mother, that's why you're so far ahead. Ooh. Isn't that, that is profound? so true. Oh and my to come gosh. from a 22-year-old son to say, and then he went on to expound that you have so much knowledge and so much wisdom, and though you you know may not have been trained mm-hmm. in some of these areas for a period of time, you can catch up on all of that, but I cannot yeah. replace the years that I devoted mm-hmm. to my family and managed to gain the knowledge that I did through that, and, and so I kept first things first, and that's been a real blessing. That is so true. Lori, thank you for sharing your wisdom with our listeners today. I mean, your son is absolutely right, uh, because all of all of you out there that are mothers, just as you said, because you are mothers, you're so far ahead. You, It is such a wonderful opportunity to be a mother, to be able to spend your 24 hours a day, seven days a week raising your family. It is one of, if not the mo- I believe it is the most important position any female can hold on earth at a period of time in her life. And it never ends. As you know, Lori, you have a 33-year-old child. And as you know, they're still asking for advice. You're still mentoring them. Uh, we're still uh, giving them direction. And I, I just want to, again... From my heart, say thank you so much for the wisdom that you shared to our listeners today. And if someone wanted to reach out to you, uh, if you, we, you can go ahead and get it in the comments section if you'd like to. But go ahead and tell all of our listeners on the Empowerment Station for Voice America, if they wanted to reach out to you, how would somebody uh, reach out to you for you to be able to mentor them, uh, coach their family, and for them to be able to work with you directly? Wonderful. They can go to my webpage, wholefamilymentoring.com, and they can learn a bit more about me. I'm actually having another page developed as well. I'm going to be the host of a television show coming up soon, and and uh, it's going to be um, uh, just advocating for the family. It's yeah. called Family First, the Lori Richen Show. But you can also personally uh, email me at wholefamilymentoring at gmail.com. So I would love to hear from anyone out there if they are struggling to stabilize their family structure. I've had great success mentoring uh, a whole variety of different ages and helping marriages to become solid and secure again and relationships between children and parents to be fortified. So I'd love to be of service to them. Thank you, Lori. And thank you so much for joining Lead Up for Women today on the radio. We support you. We love you. We are behind you. We're cheering you on. And uh, we have so much gratitude for how much you're changing lives. So thank you. Thank you so much, Colleen. Thank I look you. forward to listening to your next Great. guest. Great. And go ahead and uh, pop onto our Facebook page, Lori, and throw all of your contact information in there. Tell them about your book. Tell them about your TV show coming up. Go ahead and share a bunch of information so everyone can reach out to you. It'd be great. Thank you, The more you share, the better. You can never overshare, girl. Never overshare. All right, Chantel, (laughs) are you on the phone? Hi. Chantel, (laughs) all the way from Canada, joining us today. That is where I am. I bet the weather's beautiful today compared to Arizona's a little warm. Actually, today it it is beautiful. Absolutely. That's awesome. What is your temperature over there today? I think we're at about, well, we do a different, we're in Celsius over here. Oh, yeah. We're at about 29 degrees Celsius, oh. so it's a nice day. It can yeah. get really humid and, and hot. 
Yeah. Over here. I think last week we were battling temperatures that were about 45, but it felt uh, higher. Yeah. Yeah. I tell you what, you know, um, the weather in Arizona is the desert. So it's really hot here. And I love it when I get to travel all over and visit different cities because then I can get out of the heat. And I was in Canada, uh, unfortunately, in February of this year. And so it was kind of like a tundra and it was just white everywhere, uh, ice, but uh, it was still a beautiful change. So thank you yeah. for joining us today. And Chantel has five children. We, I think between me, you, and Lori, uh, with all of our children, um, and, and of course with Lori and I, we, have, uh, we, we each have several grandchildren. I have uh, nine and two on the way, and she has eight. Uh, I think we have a full two teams of football players or something. You know, like <laughs> two basketball teams, a baseball team. You know, we've got, we've got well, them all. I think I'm a chapter behind uh, you guys because my <laughs> oldest is 17, and I'm yeah. a blended family like you, Colleen, but it goes 17 down to seven. Yeah. Yeah, yes. So enjoy these years because, girl, you're going to wake up tomorrow and just be like, where did it go? Uh, yeah. Well, so. that's what they say. Yeah. I mean, we're, I'm right in the trenches yeah. right now, but uh, that's yeah. what they say. I'm going to miss it for Be- sure. Yeah. Believe me, it's true. So hug that seven-year-old as often as you can. Uh, mm-hmm. So, Chantel, um, let's talk a little bit about how in your life you realized at a point that you needed a better career life, quote unquote, balance, as you call it. We talk about balance a lot on this show and how it's a myth yeah. because there is no such thing as true balance. If things were balanced, right, it would be 50-50 and nobody wants to only give 50% to their family and 50% away to everything else. And so it's all about priority. So talk to me a little bit about in your life, you needed to establish something rewarding for you that gave you that opportunity to be with the kids, but yet run a successful company. Tell our listeners a little bit about how that came about in your story and how that started. Well, in listening to actually Lori's story, uh, I married young as well. So I got married at 19 and uh, I was widowed at 29, and then I remarried, and that marriage didn't go so great. And it was about that decision when I was going through the breakdown and divorce of that marriage where I realized that I wanted to have a better career life balance, and my mm-hmm. focus needed to be on my children at the time. Yeah. And that, for me, was when I made the decision in my mind that my, my kids were just my whole first priority. And so that was sort of the budding of that decision. Um, I am a teacher by profession. I taught primary grade one and grade one, two. And I mean, I still volunteer in my seven-year-old's classroom. And at any moment I could hop back in there. I just love that environment as well. But I think my kids appreciate me home a lot more. And I love being in the center of this storm. And especially now being the blended family and two more awesome girls joining the group. Um, it's just become all the more important for me to be here, I feel. And I just feel that uh, my place is here. Yeah. Other women have made other decisions, but for me, it works. And I love the career life balance that I do have now. Like I'm here in my office. And mm-hmm. while well, Lori was on her side of the, the show that we were running, I had the phone on mute and I'm running around the house getting my one little girl ready to go off on a play date because <laughs> they, she's decided she's going next door to swim at the neighbor's pool. And then here I am talking with you five minutes later. So it's just all a part of what what we do in a yeah. day and how important it is for us to be the moms and, mm-hmm. and run what we have here at home. Yeah. I mean, we celebrate all of our identities, don't we? We don't shy away from one or the other. And what I love about the statement of what you just said and how crazy your life has been in the last 20 minutes is for all the mothers out there and women to remember, it is okay for things to be like a hot mess in the moment. It is okay to not be afraid to jump on a radio show and do an interview or start up a business and be successful as Chantel is and still be an incredible mother at the same time. You do not have to do one or the other. You can do both. Well, I always... I always think it's sort of my, my mantra is that being the mom shouldn't be our excuse. It should be our reason. Yes. You know, it's, you know, I, I love what I do. And I also always say to my team, choose our heart. I mean, yeah, it's hard to refocus my mind and be here with you five yeah. minutes after going through like the chaos that I've just gone through. But I think it would be harder for me if I had to take my kids to daycare every sure. morning at 7 a.m. and not go back and get them until 5.30, which was my story for my firstborn when I was a teacher. Absolutely. So I should I, choose my heart. 
I want to say thank you for your service because I know that anyone in the military, we always say thank you for your service. And I feel like as teachers, you are you are putting yourself in the in the war zone every day. And it is <laughs> so much <laughs> that you do for children as a teacher. So thank you so much for for all of those years that you dedicated your life to teaching all of our children. We really appreciate oh, well. that. It was my pleasure. I, I, as I said, I love that career, but I love being at home more, and I love what I do now and the time flexibility more. Yeah. And I feel it it services my family better, yeah. um, especially with the blended clan that we have. And yeah. I really love it, and I'm enjoying being a part of this part of my journey as well. Well, Chantel, we're going to hop over for just a two minute break. As soon as we get back, I would love for you to share with all of our all of our listeners, our moms, especially out there that are watching this. So how can I be a mompreneur and how can I build a business from home? Chantel has the answer. So don't go away, listeners. Come back because we're only going to be at break for two minutes and we're going to dig into what Chantel's done and how she built her success. We'll be right back. And I think we're at break. I can't really tell. I'm waiting for Monk to go on and tell me we're at break. <laughs> so, Chantel, thank you so much for being with us. It's been... Um, all right. All right. We, we're clear. I'm okay, sorry. I'm, that's okay. I don't know if you could have heard me. I didn't. Okay. So, sorry. Yeah, we're clear. That's okay. No problem. All right. So for all of our Facebook friends out there, uh, we've got Chantel on the phone, and I'll throw up a photo of her after um, the show is over, and I have the opportunity to put a little bit more detail in our live post today. Uh, But Chantel, thank you so much for joining us, and say hi to all of our Facebook friends out there so they can hear you. Absolutely. Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for being here and giving us a moment of your time. Yeah. Thanks for being out there and and uh, listening in and and for all of you that are that are listening on Facebook Live, you don't want to go anywhere because the show's really going to get uh, good here as Chantel shares her secret sauce on how she was able to build a business from home, which I know a lot of moms are always looking for a way to. To as as Lori said, you know, join. Uh, she felt like she was late coming into the workforce, and I absolutely agree with her son that you know she is is uh, definitely because she's a mother. You know, she's so far ahead, and uh, it's the number one. Uh, like I had mentioned before, number one position and uh, that any um, mother can hold, and I think is one of the hardest. Uh, positions because these children are learning and growing at such a rapid pace and we always have to be on you know at least at a nine to five you can be off when you're done at five there's no off as a mother (laughs) you know (laughs) yeah right it's so true, but I, I do I do appreciate you taking some some time out of your day today and joining us. And we're going to come back from break here in just a second, so I don't want to dig into any juicy stuff until we're back okay. and everybody on the podcast can hear us. So we'll make sure we Perfect. do that. And then for all of our Facebook friends out there that are watching, um, here's our lead up for Women Magazine. And I am just wrapping up all the details and content of our next July, August issue. So if you haven't already, jump over to leadupforwomen.com to snag your issue. You just go to leadupforwomen.com forward slash membership. And uh, we will send you your own printed copy. And of course, if you would love a copy of the magazine, um, you can always email me at info at leadupforwomen.com. I would be happy to share a copy with you so we hope to um there's so many more stories in the next one it just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger it's great right. hey there, right. Monk. Colleen. yep sorry to interrupt we are okay. coming back all right we're coming back okay take a little You're dancing break over lead here up for women speak up to lead up to reach the show today, please call 1-888-346-9141. That's 1-888-346-9141. You may also send an email to info at leadupforwomen.com. Now, back to this week's show. Hey there, listeners, and welcome back to Lead Up for Women, Speak Up to Lead Up. I'm your host, Colleen Biggs, and I have the amazing Chantel McGuffin on the phone today. 
Hey, Shinto. Thank you. Hi. (laughs) All right. So we started getting into the story with Shinto, a little bit about her family prior to break. But now we're going to dig into the juicy stuff uh, so we can find out how, Shinto, did you build a business um, from staying home? Okay, well, the important thing to say here is that I had tried building a home or a business from home long before I was successful. And my first attempt at it was not successful. And so I think that it's a learning curve. And I think that as long as we don't give up, we're going to get the hang of it. So Mm -hmm. I encourage all, all people, all women listening to this, stay the chorus, because if you just stay consistent, that's when the results start to come in. And so when I made my decision four years ago, I was like, you know what? Choose my heart. It is easier and more important to me to be at home with my kids through what we're going through than to be um, in my career as a teacher. So I thought, well, if I'm going to make the decision this time, it's going to be all in and I'm going to have to be successful at this. And so I had to create, um, first of all, I would encourage everyone, as I said, be consistent and then systems. So we have a duplicatable system on our team where all new people have a clear cut plan on how to get to their first level of success. And we just duplicate that system time and time and time again. And we support all of our team members right through that process to that first level of success. And it takes focus. Like every morning, Monday to Friday from 6 to 6.45, you will find myself hosting uh, what we call a working Zoom. Zoom is a web conferencing Mm -hmm. service that is offered. You can often get it for free. And I get on to the Zoom, so do other team members, and we work our businesses for 45 minutes every day before our kids wake up. And so by the time our households start coming alive, the majority of our connections and reach outs and setting up times to make phone calls to people are already done. And we're just following that momentum throughout the day. And that made a huge turning point for myself and for my business was the system, the focus, and being consistent with it. That's great. What what a great tidbit and nugget of advice for our listeners. Thank you for that. Okay? You're welcome. So tell us a little bit more about the business. Are we allowed to say the company name? Yes, is that? Oh, of course. Oh, this is okay. for you to promote what it is that you do and for you to promote uh, everything so that you can bring on uh, moms that want to be able to work with you. Uh, this is your opportunity. Okay. Yeah. I just wasn't sure. So I wanted to be clear. I didn't want to cross any lines. But oh, no. I'm a marketing good. rep. Well, okay. I'm a marketing rep for Melaleuca.com. Mm-hmm. And, you know, in coming to that decision, because there's so many great companies out there, Mm -hmm. and some of the reasons why it made, it sort of resonated with me was, number one, I was really passionate about the health and wellness aspect of that. Mm -hmm. And I didn't, I wasn't able as a single mom before becoming a blended family to be out every evening doing, um, you know, events and things like that. And what I found with what I do now with Melaleuca is we created a system where I could build it online from my computer and we just ran with that. And so that's why I chose what I do now and who I do it with. Um, but yeah, we market for Melaleuca.com, which is basically an online shopping club and we educate people on how to shop with them and we get paid to do that. So you do this in a very unique way. Uh, And I'll tell you why I say that, Chantel, because I've met other women uh, and gentlemen that have been in uh, that shop at Melaleuca and have been part of that circuit. And what I love about what you do is you have your own website out there. You have a place and a landing page for mothers to go to learn more about how they can change their lifestyle through the products that Melaleuca offers, but also through how easy it is through the systems and processes and your focus in the growth of the women and wanting to, as we say here at Lead Up for Women, lead up and leave the ladder down. So you're bringing women along with you because my assumption is, and I'll ask you to correct me if I'm wrong, once you started this and realized the success you could have, and as you started gaining, gathering a team, you became the leader of that team, and you really put the focus on your team, as you just said, for 45 minutes every morning, and you're the driver, and you're the one that motivates them, and it's because of you that these women are able to have the success they're able to have. 
I provide the framework, but it's really important. Like when you partner with people, I can provide the framework, but it all still comes down to how badly that person wants it and how mm. consistent they want to be with the activity. And that's, it's still up to them. I mean, I can lead them to the activities to do that bring mm. the success, but I can't do it for them. And sometimes it pains me because you're sort of laying this framework out for people yeah. and they don't run on it. Yeah. And you you just can't control that. You just have to go looking for the next person that you can help. Right. And uh, at the same time, what I have really found is there's a lot of women out there like myself, a lot of us, you know, happy in the careers that we have, but not quite where we want to be in life. Mm-hmm. You know, I loved teaching, but I wanted to be at home more. Mm-hmm. And there there are so many women that are like me, like you, that are willing now to look at these other alternatives and mm-hmm. options where I think in the past it was sort of, you know, get your, your post-secondary education, go to university, mm-hmm. get your degree and stay in that career forever. Mm-hmm. Where now we're like, well, wait a minute here, maybe we could take that skill set and put it into something else and make it work for us as well. Because every day I'm using my skills as a teacher. Yeah. And uh, I think there's a lot more women out there that are like, you know, I'm not exactly happy where I am. And I'm going to do something to change that. And that's who I really love to work with is those women that are like, you know, my reason's huge. And yeah. I'm just done with not being exactly happy where I am. Mm-hmm. And then I'm like, well, let's just partner up and run then. I'm going to link arms with you. And I'm going to run and give you the framework until you want to run yourself. That's great. Tell our listeners the website of uh, if they if any mothers are out there or any women that maybe want some side income or do want to change their lives and do want to be able to. And it, it, it doesn't mean that you have to be a mother. Maybe you just want to be an entrepreneur. I'm a mother, but I'm an empty nester. So it's not it's not like mm-hmm. I was creating a business so that I could stay home with my children. It That's not what I was doing. I was living my purpose and what's been on my heart for a really long time and decided I wanted to just go all out and um, market women just like you, Chantel and Lori today, and give you a platform for your voice so that you can tell more and more and more the whole world all about what you do, how you do it, why you do it, so that we can bring more women along. So they have this opportunity. So whatever your reason is out there, ladies or gentlemen, whatever your whatever your reason is out there for just wanting more out of life, don't be afraid to stand up and lead without permission and lead the way that you want your life to be. That's what it's about. It's not about stepping over others that are in your way or competing with others. It's about serving everyone and sharing what you what your skill set is with the world so that we can learn from you. And that's what you're doing, Chantel. You're helping all of these women realize. Now, do you work with any gentlemen or is it all women? I do work with gentlemen. Okay. Um, I mainly work with women. It just okay. seems to be a market that I work well with. Because we're but there hungry, are some men on the team for sure. Yeah, there <laughs> women are, are hungry, men on the team man. For sure. yeah. yeah, we're out that's, there, and we want to. Yeah, we want to make the money. And watch out, everyone, because uh, we're you know you want your hell yes customers. That's what I call them, Chantel. Is the you have your yes. hell no customers, right? So you're going to have the customers that come to you that want to be on the team. But like you said, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make it drink. I understand that. But the hell yes customers right. are the moms out there or the women out there or the gentlemen out there that just want more out of life. They want to make more money. They want to be able to have riches, to be able to travel, to be able to live the life that they want. Don't be embarrassed by that. Don't be embarrassed no. by that, right? Because the more and more money that you have, and plus, let me tell you, there's enough out there for everybody, right? Don't yeah. be afraid to live into and give life everything you've got because this is the one life we've got on earth, this blip for us to be able to give it everything and be exactly who we are. Why? Well, because everyone else is taken. And so if you're trying to be like everyone else and blend in, it's it's just not going to work out because you were made, God made us exactly uniquely us. One of us is not like the other. Why? Because we all have a different fingerprint, and that's how we know. So if your fingerprint is your blueprint, which are your skills, which are if Chantel and I were in the exact same business, we would do it exactly different because Chantel's not Colleen and Colleen's not Chantel. So remember that, right? Remember that, listeners. Chantel, how can everybody get a hold of you out there 
to email, uh, Facebook. How, how would you like to share your information so everybody on the Empowerment yes. Channel knows how to get a hold of you? Perfect. Uh, so I shared my personal Facebook link in the comments under the Facebook line. So that's already in there. And then, uh, Colleen, you had mentioned my website. Mm-hmm. Um, you can find me at a careerformoms.com. And that will actually lead you to our team's duplicatable site, which is the Moms with a Plan. But my personal link is a careerformoms.com. A career for moms. And Chantel's name is spelled C-H-A-N-T-E-L-L-E. McGuffin is M-C-G-U-F-F-I-N. For anyone who's out there listening and wants to find Chantel on Facebook, that's how you're going to locate her. So Chantel, thank you so much again for being with us today. It's been an amazing show. I am just so grateful that you joined us. You bring, bring a wealth of knowledge to any of our listeners that are here on Facebook or listening through Voice America or any of our other outlets for our podcasts and uh, giving them an opportunity for them to uh, self-motivate, uh, for them to be able to be trained and be part of a team that has systems and a clear plan to success. Yes. Thank you so much. I really appreciate the time to chat, Colleen. And uh, I look forward to staying in touch and being a part of Lead Up for Women. And you need to come to Ontario, Canada. Yes. So 2020 plan. That's what we're going to do. I'm going to head up there because I think that'll be a great opportunity for for us to come and join forces. And you can bring your ladies of uh, your uh, career for moms and uh, with Mela Luca. And I can bring our Lead Up for for Women ladies. And uh, can you imagine? Whew. The power in that room. Boy, that's going to be fun. That would be fun. Yeah. All right, Chantel, thank you so much for joining us today. Take care. Take care. Thank you, everyone. All right, listeners. So we're going to wrap up today's show because we just have a couple of minutes left. Next week, uh, we are going to be airing on Wednesday. However, I'm going to be doing a special Facebook Live tomorrow for all of our Facebook fans. So if you're not a Facebook fan, go out to Lead Up for Women uh, and look up uh, us on the Facebook. And our next show is going to be Meredith Townsend Howard, who's the president and CEO of Life Source Training School. She runs a school. She's a speaker, trainer, and advocate for Talk Meredith. She's awesome. She is going to be a guest at our Nashville, Tennessee luncheon on August 19th. Make sure you get out there on our website, get signed up for that one. We're also going to be at Jabs. It's an all women workout facility, a kickboxing circuit workout facility. And we're going to be live on Facebook tomorrow at three o'clock at Denali Cars Jabs for Women Fitness in Queen Creek. So join me tomorrow because we're going to pre record our show early. However, um, it will go live next week on. It will go live next week on the Empowerment Channel for Voice America. So make sure you join us at 10 a.m. next Wednesday for that. And I wanted to let our listeners know that remember, you are the only you that has ever been. You are the only you that will ever be. So please pioneer the future of your dreams. Don't be afraid to reach the heights that you've always dreamed of, to live the life that you've always dreamed of. Lead Up for Women is here to support you through that journey. We want you to come along with us because we know you can't do it alone. So please join us next week for our show. Please join us every week for our show. And don't forget, we have a community of women that are here to support and love you. So join leadupforwomen.com forward slash membership. And we will see you all next week. Have a wonderful life and a wonderful week. Talk to you later. All right. Great job. Good all show. Right. All clear. Thank you. Good all right. To be with you, Colleen. All right. You too. Thank you so much. Yes. You guys have a wonderful day. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. All right, Facebook. We're signing off. So I'm going to sign off now and stop our video. So thanks for joining us today.